Password controls are enabled for users of your Jonas system on a system-wide basis. Maintaining strong password rules is a requirement under the Payment Card Industries Data Secure Standard, PCI-DSS, for clubs that deal with, or might deal with, credit cards. User IDs that only handle exposure to one credit card at a time, such as POS users, can be exempted from password controls. To adjust your password control settings, navigate to System Administration, System Setup, and System Parameters. Then select Password Controls. How you specify the password controls will be dependent on your club. Individual user IDs can be set to bypass these password controls, which we will look at shortly. The numbers stated next are required under the Payment Card Industries Data Security Standard. Days before a password expires will determine how many days will pass before a password expires and needs to be reset. A message will appear if you try and set this to more than 90 days or mark it as zero. Days to warn that password is expiring will indicate when a warning message will appear prior to a password expiring. You can use zero for no warning. Warnings will appear each time the user logs into Jonas and until the password is changed. Maximum login attempts. Here you can set the maximum number of times that a user can attempt to log in with the wrong password before they are locked out. The maximum is six attempts. Once the user is locked out, they will need to get a supervisor who has rights to user administration to bring up their user ID, unlock their account, and click OK to reset them. As a best practice for security in this situation, it is recommended that the user's password be changed at this point as well. Minutes to lock out an account after login failure. Here you want to indicate the length of time in minutes that a locked out user must wait before they can try logging in again. This must be set to zero, which will lock them out immediately after failing and force them to get a supervisor to bring up their user ID in user administration, unlock them, and click OK to reset them. As a best practice, it is recommended to have the user change their password in this scenario as well. Minimum password length. Here you will want to set the required minimum length that a password must be, which must be seven or eight characters. Required number of special digits. Enter the number of special characters that must be in a password. You can enter zero for none and up to eight as the max. Required number of numeric digits. Similarly, enter the number of numeric digits that must be entered for a password. This must be set to a minimum of one and up to a maximum of eight. Number of passwords to retain. Indicate how many passwords will be saved on file and therefore cannot be reused. The minimum here is four with a maximum of 20. Allow password to match user ID. This option will not be checked and cannot be updated. Individual users can be set to ignore password controls and therefore be able to have a matching user ID and password. This means that the user will not have to enter their password to log in and is commonly used for servers and wait staff for ease and convenience, which we'll also take a look at very shortly. Once you've configured your password controls, go ahead and click OK to save and OK from the main screen. These settings will now be applied to all new user IDs and when existing user IDs complete password resets. If you are using password controls, note that user IDs cannot be saved unless the user's password follows these rules. If any users need to bypass the password controls, you can set this in Administration, User Management, and User Administration. Go ahead and select your user and under the user options section you're going to check mark bypass password controls then click ok to save only those users that have no or limited access to credit card data like servers and wait staff should be set up like this